Uh, hi, Leo. Welcome to your reading. Um, my name is Edgar Mendez. I'm so happy you're all here. I want to give my thanks and my love and my appreciation for showing up and spending time with me. I do want to let you all know I do have a pick a card channel out. If you're interested, I'm going to be focusing most of my time and my energy on that channel. Um, I, I don't know. I feel very inspired by it. I just want to let you all know that um, I will still do all signs readings, um, but it will be my main focus. So if you're interested, check it out. Um, know I love you. Know I care. Know you mean the world to me. All right. So we're going to get like a um, just a general overview about your love life, and then we'll take it from there. Um, I think so. I think so. I forgot how I was doing the other the other signs I was doing. Um, like a bonus reading. Anyway, let's see. Let's take a look. Let's see what we get for a message for you. Our first one's going to be the Daughter of Wands. Hmm. I feel there was someone in your life, uh, uh, Leo, that I almost said Aries. Um, a, a Leo that was in your life that you were very, very inspired by, very moved by, someone that you found very attractive. It's one of those cases where you really like someone and you really want it to work, but it just doesn't, right? Um, this is, I'm not saying it won't ever, but I feel like there was something in the bottom of, 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 of your stomach that told you it's just going to be the same or it's going to end just like that, um, even though... Mm, I'm going to leave it like that. It feels like it did end that way, and it feels like uh, you're very annoyed and frustrated. So I think your reading is going to be focused on maybe why it ended that way or maybe how we can keep that from happening. I feel like there could be a limiting belief within you or even something in your shadow. I'm seeing a lot of shadow here, right, um, that may have uh, created this. I know it's like the craziest thing, but, um, you know, it, 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 these things do impact us, right? Um, uh, it, they have, an, they have a, a, a big impact on our life. Shadow work is one of the most important things that we can do. I, I feel some of you, this could have been it, but it feels like you're, um, uh, huh. I feel like it may have been a self-fulfilling prophecy is what I want to say, right? We have the, ten, sorry, that's huh, 10 of swords. Yeah. I think that's the ten of swords. Sorry, I'm pretty sure this this deck's a little bit different. I gotta count. Yeah, <laughs> it has to be. That's a lot of sword there. With the bombs going to be the high priestess. You saw this ending coming. You felt this ending coming. Um, it doesn't. I I gotta be real with you. Maybe it was always meant to happen. I don't know, right? But what if, right? Um, this happened because something in your shadow encouraged it or created the problem originally. And this is why I feel maybe you're reading. But we'll see. Um. I feel like some of you may have negative energies or independent thought forms attaching to themselves to you. Clear those away. Cleanse that. Um, I do recommend Sage. That's actually what I use personally. Um, Palo Santo does a really good job as well. Anyway, we have as your other one is going to be the Three of Cups, the Three of Chalices, and it's reverse. Interesting. Hmm. I know it's like, um, like the craziest thing. I'm not saying that... Um, we are multidimensional, right? I feel like with the three of cups here, you have many opinions about stuff and some of your opinions aren't always in alignment with what is your highest good or what you may ultimately want. And I feel a lot of you, so it's not like this is your fault or this is your, uh, it is something you're gonna have to face. Um, have something in your shadow that may have encouraged the very ending that you saw coming. Um, it, it's interesting to come through, but I just wanna give that. Um, with the Empress and verse here, I feel like you may be, um, having a hard time with love. Um, we have the nine of pentacles. You may be single often. Um, I feel like this lurks within the shadow as the reason why, with the bottom gonna be the daughter of pentacles coming through. Hmm. I do feel the daughter of pentacles on the board here, a Leo. Um, you definitely, um, hmm. I feel like you definitely wanted this person. You find them uh, attractive, you find them your, your type. But there's something about, I feel every time you find someone that you're interested in, it, it doesn't seem to work out. I feel like this lurks within some unhealed parts of yourself, um, unhealed um, shadowy parts of yourself with that daughter of pentacles. Um, hmm. There's got to be judgment. It has to be. That's what it felt like to me. Um, judgment being reversed, I feel like there is um, there's something that prevents... That prevents your rebirth and it prevents you from growing. Again, I feel like it comes from here. You know, um, uh, shadow work's real, real, real tricky stuff. But it feels like this is linked to a love connection and one that you had high hopes for, high expectations for, and it ended brutally. Uh, it's not that they didn't do anything wrong. Of course, I'm sure they did, but 
um, there is a role that you played as well with your shadow and with the parts of yourself that may lurk within the subconscious, all right? And that's why this is your message. So we're going to take it from here. I wasn't expecting this kind of message for you, uh, Leo, but here we are. So can you tell me, why is this the message for Leo? Like, what parts of their shadow that need to be healed? What are the parts of Leo's uh, shadow that need to be healed? Let's take a look here. I just did a reading, um, and it was, I just, like, a same-day reading, actually. Uh, uh, I just did it right before I started this, and I had a lot of healing in it. And I feel like it could have carried over, but I feel like it's exactly what's meant to be. Anyway, we have the Hermit Reverse. There are parts within you, Leo, that you don't want to go within and look uh, and shine a light on. I know, I know. I remember when I first started my shadow work, I didn't really understand much. I, I, I just make my way through life. I just do it. And I remember I had like a transmission or a vision uh, and I would see my uh, where my present circumstances were and where it was linked to my childhood. I feel like there's an experience like that that you need to have where you start to connect the dots. Why is this happening to me? Where is this linked to from my past? And you're going to really understand more about yourself and be able to heal this. I, I don't know what um yet. Sorry, what's here? The four of wands. Um I'm not sure. Uh oh, this is interesting. This is me for everyone, but some of you you may have an idea about who you'll end up with that that everyone that is a good suitor for you prevents. Um it, it prevents you from uh, actually being successful there. I know it's the craziest thing. Um, uh, I had it too, right? You, you feel maybe in your heart or in your mind that um, that if it's right for you, it's going to work out no matter what. But we play a big ass role in our life, right? It, that's a lot of free will there, right? It feels like some of some of the parts of yourself may be rejecting these really good suitors because you had you're hung up on someone else, or you had, um, or you won't let go of someone else. So I'll leave it like that. It's not going to be for everyone, but. With the hermit here, this is about you needing to go deep within the self. So see with that turtle shell here, right? Um, there's no need for to be defensive, right? Uh huh. There really isn't. Uh, just face the things you need to face. We have the seven of wands. Yeah, let go of that guard here. There isn't. Um, I do feel you have that. You do have that. Uh, that need to surrender. To, um, being defensive or surrender that need to defend yourself. Um, accept uh, your uh, accept the things you have to face. You heal. Uh, and move through that. I want to say move through that lovingly, but I'll leave it like that. I feel like this isn't actually that hard. Um, it just requires you to get to that. Uh, that it, it's. I remember um, before. I, I mean, I had healing that was in eh, before. <laughs> I, I swear I did. Huh? And eventually, I started getting the hang of it. And it feels like you need your own system. Uh, some people meditate. Um, so I, I'm going to, uh, some people meditate right in the morning. Um, other people take a walk and they set the intention. Other people um I, I don't know. They connect with their spiritual team. Uh, that's actually how I, I go about it. But whatever the case is for you, Leo, you're going to want to get a system for you that works for you to heal your stuff, heal yourself and heal the stuff you need to face. And that system, um, whatever it is, going to be good for you. Guided meditations, I feel, is really highlighted for you. Um, just let you know that. I got to do a shadow transmission. I, I will do that probably today. Anyway, we have the six of wands coming through. It's ego. You see healing or taking a back step or facing the stuff from your past as uh, as moving backwards. It's not. You're moving forward, actually. I know it's real crazy, but you are moving forward, whether you think so or not. We have the magician coming through. Hmm. And then last card. I want to take one more. I wasn't going to, but we, we're going to take it. Uh, we have the father of wands and it's reverse. Bomb's going to be the eight of wands coming through. Mm -hmm. Walk, don't run. I know that that's a that's gonna be a tricky one for you. You may want to rush. Some of you feel like this uh, this ticking uh, clock. Um, I remember when I had that feeling. Oh God, damn! I haven't healed in a long time. I haven't done um, stuff in a while. I did this so long ago. But I remember that feeling where like time's running out. I gotta hurry. Um, yeah. There's plenty of time. I've been there. Uh, I I would honestly. I wish I could just go back. To, you know. <laughs> and tell and just like I don't know, I just like knocked some sense into myself. There was I was never ever out of time. Um, I feel like you may have some of that, just a little bit. That makes you want to push yourself rather than face some of the things. Um, when you um face what you need to face, you move through life faster, right? Um one thing I want to tell you, Leo, is um you're 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 uh, taking one day at a time, one step at a time. That moves you forward, not time itself. Okay, um, time is an illusion. 
right? Uh, we have the King of Wands here with the Hermit and it's reverse. You've never really given your enough focus to your healing, enough focus to your shadow. It's just not enough. Like you need to really, really go into that. I do feel your inner child really being key. One thing that comes through from Kuan Yin is to ask your inner child to show you the parts of yourself that need to be healed. Um, uh, and you could start to work at that. I know it's crazy, um, but bring healing to those parts. Bring light, actually, is what I want to say. Bring light to these parts of yourself, and you're going to start to feel way better. Um, it's interesting. Uh, healing this is how you get to the other side of this. Yeah, I know, I know. It's real annoying. Uh, the second card is very important. We have the Two of Wands, and uh, there's the Two of Pentacles, and it's upright, by the way, as well. Ah. Hmm. Uh, I see change for you, um, but you want to make your choices with balance as well. Um, huh. Balance out your light and your shadow, right? Light and dark, right? Um, and uh, that's going to be key for you. All right, let's get a little bit more. I want to see. Um, I do. I did pull this deck out. I was I, I was doing a private reading with this one. Um, I see you like this deck. It's real, uh, real amazing. So can you tell me, is there any other messages that you have for Leo um, when it comes to their healing? I feel like one of your biggest reasons why you're not having success in your love life is the unhealed parts. And I know that you may want to blame it or project it at the people you're meeting. It's not necessarily their fault. You are attracting, well, um, well, like attracts like, I guess, but it's not that per se. I feel like you're attracting real good suitors. If I'm being honest with you, these parts of yourself may be rejecting or maybe sabotaging in the background. And that's kind of what I want to say about that. That's all I want to say about that as well. Um, Leo, let's see, let's get some more here. Let's get some uh, cards. Uh, what else do you want to get for Leo's reading? We have the otter coming through. This is about the people that you attract. You have pretty good suitors, by the way. We have ego coming through with that, that uh, peacock. We have oyster. Hmm. Uh, I get uh, another one. Okay, we have this. We have mouse coming through. Interesting. Um, that's better. Sorry. Yeah. My... Uh, either it's me or my cat. I always move that. Anyway, we have the spider with the owl coming through as well. All right. Hmm. I feel, I don't know if you, um, maybe you're around a lot of people a lot, or maybe, um, you date a lot, but there is a part of you that is continuously trying to hide your parts of yourself from yourself and from the world. I know it's like real crazy that I say, maybe you're always out. Maybe you never really give yourself that time. When I started really doing my healing, I was really, really withdrawing from the world. And I went in deep. Um, you need that experience, Leo. I can tell. And one of the biggest reasons I feel you may not be having it is you may have too many people around you in your life that are preventing you from um, going deep. They, they're distracting you for one. Two, I feel you're embarrassed about it and you are reluctant to give that a shot. And you don't... Um, one thing I feel like even if you were left alone to your own devices, I do wonder if you would actually go deep within the self. Maybe, maybe not. In my experience, it took um, for me to feel where I am to be like the, 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 to get to the part like how healed I am. It took about three years, maybe four, maybe three and a half. Sorry, I, I don't know. It, 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 it took a while. And I was healing most of my life, too. I was working through stuff all the time. Um, very early years. Um, I feel like you have, so you have some of this. It's like it, you're, you don't want to go within because you're around people and you're afraid about people seeing that. And I feel um, they distract you, all right? And you may have a lot of distractions. You need something, a daily routine or a daily practice that it sets that tone that you go within. Again, meditating does stand out. Guided meditations uh, it can be good as well. But you need something like that. I have my own thing. Um, you need your own thing as well. And it's going to uh, it's going to really help propel you forward, all right? It's key for you to make your way through this as well. Um you attract people who hide themselves and hide their feelings as, as well. I can see that a little bit. Just a little bit coming through. Um, the mouse here and the buffalo. Hmm. You see the buffalo. No, you're okay. You're okay. I feel like that's, that's not bad. Let's get some guidance for you, Lee, uh, Leo. Um, I have guidance for the Leo viewers. Guidance for the Leo viewers. Um, last one. Beautiful. Okay, what is the guidance that you have for Leo viewers? Remember, I got this a long time ago, huh? 
uh, I, I, I'm like, I swear I'm walking a path right now that's all very nostalgic. I must be entering a new chapter. I swear it's, it's what it is, but whatever. Um, we have relationship patterns. Yeah. Um, I feel what it's not that you the relationship pattern I feel is with the self. This is the problem. And it's manifesting in your external world with people that you're meeting. Um, it's part of the equation. I feel a big part. Uh, I actually feel like the beginning of it as well, because that energy comes in right away and where we end up and how we got there. So where we end up and how, where we started are directly connected. And you need to understand that some of these shadowy parts, these unhealed parts are playing a role in why your connections are, are being sabotaged or why your connections are, um, are not working out or even fulfilling. All right. We also have love who you are. And this is about loving all of you, your light and your dark. Again, I feel, I truly feel like you have people around you or you're always out and it, it makes you unable to dive deep within the self. We need that alone time. We need that personal time to heal ourselves, to, to go within. I, um, I mean, I, I, I just knew, I just knew, I knew I was doing the right thing anyway, but you're gonna figure out your own thing and start to work through that. Don't be afraid to let those things uh, uh, float through your mind. Um, one thing that comes to my mind and it comes from, sorry, it's ain't it's old knowledge, ancient knowledge, actually. Um, uh, to not to let it float in your mind. No, grab onto it. Don't push it. I hope that makes sense. Um, let it float there. It is important. I hope that, uh, I hope that makes sense to you. Um, it's reminding me of the lithiometer from, uh, I forgot what movie it is. Anyway, uh, we have Demonstrate Love. Beautiful. And then can I get one last one? We have spend quality time together. This is about you spending quality time with the self. Again, it's not about the people you are with. It's about the relationship you have with yourself and the energies you're holding within the self, right? We have embraced your emotions. There are parts of yourself that you seem to be rejecting or want to reject. There could be shame attached to this. Um, one thing that comes to my mind, it's not going to be for everyone, but some of you, you may... Uh, there may be things that have happened to you that society says is someone else's fault. There is a role that we all play in it, right? Um, uh, there is a part of us that we, you know, there's a part of the situation, that no matter what, that we have to honor, right? That, sorry, that we have to be accountable for, um, that we may even have to accept. I'm going to leave it just like that. It's not going to be for everyone, but some of you, you maybe say it's it's all their fault, Um it takes two tangles, what I want to say about that, all right? Um, with the demonstrate love and spend quality time together, the more that you have love within the self, the easier it's going to be to to have that quality time. I feel like your experiences with really good suitors isn't as great as it could be because your relationship with the self isn't. And this is actually why healing is so important. It's not about who's in our life. It's about what's within us. And that's the key for you right now, Leo, all right? I just saw 1770 on the camera. I feel like you're going through a rebirth. And you're going to rise from the ashes, all right? I love you. I do recommend the Phoenix transmission. You can get it in my um, um, the, the description section, all right? I love you. I love you. I thank you. And take care. Bye, Leo.